Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have behind me a 2022 Jeep Wagoneer, and we're gonna do the lower lip installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the lower section of the front bumper. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material, that way it matches the color scheme of the front grille, and it also gives it a more sportier look. If you like the product, the link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's start with the installation video. So before starting the installation, you need to make sure you prep your panel. So just make sure you clean off any contaminants that your panel may have. And then after you're done cleaning the panel, make sure that it's completely dry. That way when you're doing the installation, the film is able to tack down to the panel without having any issues because the water may damage the adhesive. So make sure everything is completely clean and dry before doing the installation. So we're going to start by installing the curve design piece that goes here. So with this one, just align it right where the design is and it should follow through like this. And if you need to lift and readjust it, you can. Place it, remove any air bubbles that are trapped behind the film. And you can also apply heat just to seal the top edges since we're going to overlap the film with the other films that will be installed to black out this trim. So grab your heat gun, seal the edges. And that's it. And now we're moving on to the next piece. So now we're working with the next piece, which covers this top section. So with this one, just align it where you left off with the curved design and just follow the design of the panel until you reach it to this section here. So it curves in and tack it down with your finger. Just be careful not to crease the film. So you can also apply heat on this section. That way we're able to tack down the film and lay it flat on this curve. So like this and tack it down. So it should lay flat like this. And now apply heat around the curved area here to help it tack down as well. Let the film cool down and then just tack it down. And then just apply heat to help it tack down and tuck it in on the edge here. And any excess material that we do have, we will trim off. Let the film cool down and then tuck it in underneath the panel. And just be careful not to crease the film here. So apply heat to help it tack down around the curve. Once you tuck it in, any excess material will get trimmed off. Grab your blade, trim off any excess material. If you have any on the edges, just be careful. So trim it off, trim off the edge. And then the top section as well. Be careful and take your time. There is a small gap, so that's where you insert your blade. So if you see the gaps right here, you just insert your blade there and follow the path. And that way you're only cutting the excess material. And now we move on to the next piece. So now we're moving on to this piece. So with this one, align it right on the curve and just follow the design of the panel. You will have excess material here to use in case you need to cover any chrome here. And then just follow it and just make sure this section follows the design of the curve. So just lift it carefully and place it and follow the curve. So just like that and make sure you have enough material to cover around here. So bring the film back. And now all you need to do is apply heat to help it cover everything. So take your time, start on the curved area first and work your way after that on the flat surface. So apply heat here, hold it with one hand and apply heat, let the film cool down and with your fingers slowly, little by little, help it form to the curve. And what this does is it helps release the tension that the film has around the curve and it's going to help us tack down more faster. And you just rinse and repeat until you cover the whole chrome underneath. And you can also use your squeegee to tack it like this. And remember, you only need to cover the chrome. Everything else will get trimmed off. And then you can also apply heat around this curve since it is a curve here. And you just rinse and repeat the same steps. And then afterwards, you trim off all this excess material we don't need. That way it looks flush, and that's pretty much it. Pull the film just to see where the material ends. That way you have an idea of where to trim. This is going to be roughly around here. So grab your blade, trim off the excess material, and trim off here, around the curve. And just trim off here as well, and then 
and you're done and move on to the next piece so now we finish off with the top piece here so just align it to the curve so make sure it's covering here and everything else should just fall into place to place it there and work your way here as well so you may have a little bit of excess material for this section only reason is just in case you didn't have enough to cover here this will help out but if you don't need this excess material you could always trim it off and then for this section of the curve apply heat like how we did it here that way we help the film form to the curve so apply heat let the film cool down and just tack it down and you can also use your squeegee to help it tack down in case you don't want to use your finger. So just help it form and then continue on on this section as well. And like I mentioned, the material you don't need, you can trim it off. So for example, here, we don't need this, so you just trim it off. Cut it from here, take your time, and then trim off across. And just continue tacking down the rest of the film while applying heat. And then here, we will trim off the excess material. Reason being is because there is a cutout. You notice here, there's a cutout. So just trim off the excess material there and the piece that goes here would cover here. So just place it back, tack it down, apply heat and then trim. So trim off excess material. There's a gap here. So just insert your blade and use that gap to trim off the excess material. And everything else can be tucked inside and do the same here, trim off excess material. And then trim off here, right in the middle of the gap. And remove it. And that's it. And now you move on to the last piece, which is this one here. So with this one, all you need to do is align it right on the edge, wherever you left off with this one. So right on the edge, and just place the film until you reach it to the other end. And then same steps as we do over there. If you have excess material here, trim off. If you have excess material here, cut it off on the trim. But before you trim off, make sure you use your squeegee to remove any air bubbles and just tack it down inside. Okay, and just make sure to bring the film down underneath as well. You only need a little bit of material to cover underneath the panel. And then you just do the same on the other side. And you could use heat to help tack down underneath the panel. So just apply heat and then we'll trim off the extra material. Okay, and that's it. And now the last thing to do is to post seat the entire panel once you're done installing. So to post seat, you would just grab your heat gun, apply heat all over the panel. And then once you're done post seating the entire panel, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the Chrome Delete installation for the lower section of the lip. For the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer, we hope that this video helped you as well with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.